Sometimes you want something so bad, but you can only get there if you stop from time to time and ask yourself, have I made it? Maybe it started one summer in a one-burner food truck, wheeling around town, serving up street meat and scorching heat for three bucks an hour. <laughs> but you had a job. When you begged the owner of a local joint and he took you on, let you lug in the produce in 50-pound boxes, had you sweeping, stacking, and cleaning out the fridge, then sharpen the knives. Even if you took off a finger, you were in a kitchen, prepping. When you impress the chef at that place downtown enough to slice, dice, chop, and julienne, give him a 40-hour week by Tuesday noon, and then, hands cracked and bleeding, go another 72 hours. But you were learning from a chef with the name when he got you into his friend's place, your very own station that came with the task of being up at four to source fresh market fish, then work from mayhem to midnight, six nights a week. But this was finally cooking. When you became a sous chef at a five-star restaurant and you kept up with the madness of serving hundreds each night but you were writing the menu and creating new tastes, <laughs> now you're on your own. You've risked all you had, eaten your own mistakes and fired your best line chef because he showed up to work high. Your name's on the door and with that comes the real estate, the reputation, the debt and the doubts. We have to ask, have you made it?